use the Mandatively Monitoring Services, or the MTEMS. Um, typically, if you're, uh, if you're configuring a, uh, a LDAP uh, repository other than Atom, you can do so by reconfiguring the TEPS. Um, but since I'm using Atom, uh, I have to use what's known as the TEPS e-administration console. So under advanced, where I'm now at TEPS e-administration, I have uh, enabled TEPS e-administration uh, selection. Uh, by uh, purpose, you need to have the TEPS server running in order for this option to be available. Otherwise, it will be grayed out. So I'm going to click on enable TEPS e-administration. Um, and it starts uh, essentially... <coughs> A WAS instance for us. Uh, so now that that has uh, started, we need to also, because this is our first time starting it, we need to go to Advanced TEPSE Administration and set the TEPSE Administration password. Now, if this is not your first time, you don't need to do this. You've already done it. So we'll click on that, and we'll give it a password. And that's the password we're going to need to use in order to log in to the TEPS e-administration console. And we see here, after this completes, that everything is uh, now uh, successfully running and configured. Now, I recommend using the TEPC administration console even if you're using a standard LDAP um, repository such as TDS or AD um, because it will be a one-to-one -one correlation. You'll be very familiar with what you've just done in the TIP to what you're going to do in the TEPC e administration console. So I'm going to now launch the TEPC e administration console. And you're wondering, how do I do that? Well, uh, by default, we can look at the URL here as our fully qualified domain name with the port number of 15206 by default. And then you need to put slash IBM slash console in the URL in order to get to the screen. Uh, by default, the user ID for administrative purposes is WAS admin. And the password is what we just typed in in that setting the password field. So here I'll click log in. Now, first, just like we had to do in the tip, we need to uh, we need to define our LDAP repository. So we go into security. It's the same exact procedure, secure administration, and we scroll down to the available realm definition. Make sure it says federated repositories. Click the configure button. We see the same fields. Uh, but we see an extra repository. We see an internal file-based repository and a default ITM repository. Now, the difference here is the file, internal file repository is the one that contains the WAS admin administrative account, just like the TIP admin occurred, existed in the file-based repository for the TIP. Now, the second repository here is the ITM repository, which is the repository that contains any users that are defined with permissions in ITM by default, such as sysadmin, he is listed in that repository. So if you're wondering why there's two, that's why. <clears throat> so we are going to now add another repository by clicking Manage Repositories, just like we did before. And we're going to click the Add button. And we're going to use the exact same information as we did in, uh, in the tip. Going to use Atom here. We're going to select uh, Atom here on the directory type. We're going to give the primary host name as the same as the fully qualified domain name, itm.tivly.demo. The port number is the same. Now the find distinguish name needs to be changed. Here we have to go, and I believe we still have the uh, Tivly administrator distinguish name in in our uh, clipboard which we don't, so we need to go back to Adam, 
double click on Tivoli Administrator, get the distinguished name again, and copy. And paste. And the same bind password. And we're going to use the exact same login properties just for a rep for being an exact replica. It's not necessary here, and, and I'll get to the reason why. Um, due to the fact that uh, ITM has its own logging uh, 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 user and group settings that you'll see inside of the TEPS, the CN uh, is not as important for uh, the welcome name to be the full name, and, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But for keeping it exactly the same as the tip, we will use CN and UID. Uh, so now we need to click uh, the apply button, I mean the OK button, and we save the changes. And now we go back to Federated Repositories as we did before. And we still need to add our base entry to the realm. And the base entry is the same as it was inside of the TIFF. Remember to, to define both of them. And then click OK. Click Save. OK. And now we can go back into our Atom repository. And we can change our LDAP entity types, as we've done before. Click on the group. And we change the group base to be the same as inside the tip. Click OK. Uh, we're going to do the same for org container. Same base. Click OK. Person account. Same base. Click OK. And click the Save button. Now that we're done with that, we go back to Federated Repositories, and we have to configure the same realm name. Now, I believe this is the default realm name, WITM realm. We changed the tip to be, remember, Tivoli-realm. And remember, uh, capitalization does matter. And the primary administrative username, I recommend just as before, leaving this by the default as was admin. So just in case LDAP doesn't authenticate properly for logging into this console. All right, so we can click uh, OK and click on Save. Um, and now we need to go and enable SSO by going to Web Security, single sign on, and checking Enabled and listing the same domain name as we had in the tip, which is tivoli.demo. Click OK, click Save, and we're done. Now we need to log out, and we need to restart the taps. I'll pause here while it restarts. OK, now that the taps is restarted, we need to uh, re-enable our uh, TEPS e-administration console. By default, it doesn't do so when you restart. So we need to click Enable again, and I'll pause here as it starts. OK. Now that it's started, we can go back to our TEPS e-console, 